President Trump this morning announcing Obama-era Border Patrol Chief Mark Morgan as the new director of ICE, saying in a tweet that... Mark is a true believer and American patriot. He will do a great job. Former ICE Director Thomas Homan is here uh, now for more on this. Uh, well, I guess to get started, we'll get your thoughts on Mark Morgan. He has been a proponent of uh, President Trump's border wall. Your thoughts on Mr. Morgan. Before I do that, I just want to give a shout out to the acting director right now. His name is Matt Elbins. I've worked with Matt for 20 years. Matt's doing a fantastic job. So uh, I, I appreciate anybody who steps up in this position. It's a difficult position. Mark Morgan, a 20-year FBI veteran. Look, again, I respect the man that's willing to step up and get into a position where half of Congress does not support your mission. It's an everyday fight. And I know this because I was a director for a year and a half. Mm -hmm. Every day is a fight with Congress. Every day is a fight with the media. So it's a tough job to take on. So Mark, leaving the retirement world and coming back, which I did myself, Tough decision, hard on your family, but I salute him. He's willing to throw his hat in the ring and take on this battle. So, you know, I, I hope the American people and the administration support him as much as he's going to need the support. Yeah. You know, things are very challenging there on the southern border right now. The Trump administration slated to begin asking migrants uh, essentially for DNA samples. It's a pilot program. It's going to run for two, a couple days on the border, uh, two different locations. And the ultimate goal is to stop adults from using children, from posing as families, because it gives them a benefit when they come into the country due to a policy uh, that prohibits detaining children for more than 20 days. The theory is that they use these kids and, in fact, in some cases, even recycle them. They come in with one individual, get sent back home and could come in with another individual down the road. Your thoughts on the DNA testing. Will it, will it work? Could it be effective? It will be effective. I think it's a great idea. It's an idea that I pushed since 2014 with then Secretary Jay Johnson. Look, we know for a fact, based on real cases, based on real investigative intelligence, that kids are being rented. And people are coming to the border claiming to be the, you know, they'll, they'll carry a two or three year old with them and claim they're the parents. And during the last, last year, when, when the Attorney General did the zero tolerance policy, then a judge ordered the reunification of families. The first 120 children that were united, six of those, after DNA testing, we found out they weren't even related to the person claiming to be a parent. So we know for a fact kids are being trafficked. So we, look, number one issue is to protect these vulnerable children uh, from being trafficked, being abused by people who they're not even related to. Yeah. So if this helps, which it will, it's a great idea by the administration. Yeah, it's a very forward. dangerous journey that these people are making, that these children are, in some cases, being forced to take. The body of a 10-month-old baby was recovered uh, Thursday when a raft overturned uh, there in the river on the border, uh, the Rio Grande. What can you do to, uh, to, to stop these smugglers, essentially, beyond the DNA we testing? Gotta, well, a couple of things. First of all, we got we got Mexico, with the help of ICE, HSI, needs to step up their investigation into the criminal cartels in Mexico. That, that, that they're the machine that makes this all happen in Mexico. Criminal cartels own the northern border of Mexico. Nothing crosses that border without the approval and paying off of the cartels. So right now they're operating with impunity. The, the stats are clear that 31% of the women are sexually abused by these cartels making this journey. We've already had numerous children die, another one just the other day. So look, we got to shut down these criminal cartels in Mexico. So it should be an all in on effort to identify these criminal organizations, dismantle them and put them in jail. And that way you take that machine away because you just take weeks to get from southern Mexico to northern Mexico. But with the cartels now, the more people they can push in, the quicker they can push in, the more money they're making. And a lot of also, calls for Mexico to Also, we need Congress to, to act. Uh, Thomas Homan, thank you so much, former ICE director, for your insights today.